Today I'm gonna show you some tricks how to make music track in just several minutes. You can equalize your kick over and over again and spend a lot of time creating the most beautiful melody in the world, in your opinion. Or you can just take advantage of progress. Recently I discovered free app named Koso. I can find here fresh ideas and solutions for my new songs. It's supposed to choose the preferred genre. And I see five samples of various types by default. And it's incredible, all these samples have different BPM and key, but here they sound very harmonious. If necessary, I can swipe on any sample and it will be replaced. The system does not limit us to only five samples at once. I can hit this plus icon and create a new type of sound. For example, I want to add chords. A new type is loading and now we hear a sample of chords. By holding my finger on the sample, I can listen it in solo. Great! This will be our drop or chorus, the busiest part of our track. Now we just export this piece of music back to the splice. So far, direct data transfer to Ableton does not work. Therefore, I have to do a few additional steps. I create a custom collection by exporting the samples back to splice and then buy them one credit per sample. Let's jump to my laptop, where in Splice desktop application, in the stacks section, I can find my samples. All I have to do is move the samples to Ableton. I really hope that this whole process will be greatly simplified in the next app update. As I mentioned earlier, Coso app automatically sets all samples to the same tempo and key. However, now I've got them with the original parameters and I need to correct them manually. In the key column we see the key and a number indicating by how many tones the sample has been corrected. It is the numbers that will be useful to us for adjusting the pitch. Now, gradually, one by one, I will turn on all the stems and set the volume balance. I feel we lack percussion in the upper frequencies. Let's add some extra loop. Not bad, but everything is made from non-unique samples and it would be nice to record some kind of hook. Let's come up with a catchy tune. And for recording, I'm gonna use a MIDI controller Sensi guitar. Let's connect this guitar via Bluetooth. It can also be connected with cable, but in this case we need freedom of movements. I cut out all the boring time while I was making a tune. If you notice, I didn't press the record button, but Ableton has a cool option – automatic saving of all played notes on the MIDI controller. Now, from the whole variety of recorded notes, I choose the last take that I liked. I need to crop it and quantize it on the grid. Now it's time to turn these samples into our familiar arrangement view. I double tap on stop and click on the record button. Enough. We need to accept these changes. And now I just select all the resultant pieces and stretch them to the length of my song. Let's mark up the structure of the track. 
at least it's beginning. Our track starts with intro, then build up and draw. From the intro, I'm gonna remove kick and bass. and something else. We do not need a melody here either. Also, we definitely need uplifters and downlifters in the transitions between parts of our track. Let's find something suitable. By the way, it's not at all unnecessary to look for both samples. One is enough. Later it can be inverted into another. I found a downlifter. Let's transfer it to the track, duplicate, move it forward and invert. Well, let's combine them together for convenience. Make a copy. By the way, to copy you can move it with ALT key pressed. Now let's add one more sample to the second part of our track. A longish build, ramping up the tension before the drop. The very essence of build section is pumping up energy. The samples with an accelerating snare successfully cope with this. Ready. Our track is quite dynamic but not lively. I choose Fab Filter Q3. Create a low pass filter. And now I tell Ableton what filter parameters I want to control from the outside. Let's use automation on a low pass filter which will place on our lead and control them during recording, again using the guitar. But now we don't need to play on it, we will fence in with it. The guitar's built-in gyroscope will read the spatial position on the guitar and act on two plugins at once. I actually do the mapping of these parameters, tying their value to the position of the guitar in space. Let's add another plugin, this time Nectar 3. This is the powerful tool for working with sound. We won't use all this option, just only one, the Harmony option, where we can add additional voices. And let's make two voices, higher and lower, by an octave. And make them float in space. We do the same point the system to the parameters necessary for control and then we map them. Let's fence! Of course, this track is still far from ideal, but from idea to success is one step. Keep creating. 